Here she comes. Fishing with Joe Booker Reloaded is brought to you by these fine sponsors. You know, triggering muskies is something I constantly talk about. It's one thing to get a follow, it's another one to trigger the strike. And this is, you know, the fine line between a follow and a strike is, is quite often your presentation and the little things that you can do to encourage a strike or to, you know, it, it, it really trigger that response. It, it, it sometimes it's, it's really, it's the fish is, in, the fish is definitely interested. It's coming on your bait. And you want to create a reaction from the fish, you know, a predatory reaction. And one of the key ways to do this is, is unfolds in this episode is something that's so subtle. And I, you've seen me talk about this multiple times, but here's one of the first times it ever was talked about in one of these older episodes. And this fish struck short and then it followed. And so I, I do something just a little bit more to create the reactionary strike. I call it bursting a bucktail. I call it gunning the reel. Uh, you can call it what you want, but it, it's just, you know, when the fish is on it, and especially when it's nose on it and it's really common, if you just kick the speed up a little bit, that usually does it. And one last thing, uh, you know, a lot of folks just say, well, just, Retrieve faster. Well, we, what you're going to find out is that whether you retrieve the bait really slow or ultra fast, if you keep it constant, you tend to encourage follows. But no matter what speed you actually put on the lure, if you gun the reel or burst the speed, boom, you trigger the strike. Check this out. She's still there, I'll be darned. Did you see where I gunned that reel on that fish, folks? That was awesome, wasn't it? Just gun that reel on that fish to make her hammer it. Yeah, that was awesome. That fish struck short. I was fishing a real big one here that I thought that was her. But what's cool about this, here's a classic case in point. A good fish, you know, musky spot is a good fish spot. Multiple fish will move into these spots at different times. <laughs> that was awesome. So there's a lesson in uh, retrieve speed. Just gun that reel, and you can see that makes a difference. I'm gonna slip her into the net real easy here. By the way, the net I'm using here is the new Joe Booker model uh, Frabel. You've asked for this net for a while. 
And uh, now we're going to give it to you. Get that net here right now. See, it's got that real long bag on it. 60 inch bag, one hand, bang, see? That's what's so nice about this net. See how easy I can handle this net? Guys will go, how do, you, how do you land those fish with one hand? It's the lightness. What I've, just, what I've done with this and using my uh, engineer friends at Frable to kind of perfect this is, we've gone the other way. Instead of having a real heavy duty net, everything is heavy, heavy duty, becomes heavy, heavy weight. Done this, just the opposite here, try to lighten up everything so it's a one hand operation and it's fast. And you've seen from, if you watch my show on any regular basis, I've netted fish, you know, over 40 pounds in this, with this same system. All right, that was cool, man, that was cool. See, a little gun in the retrieve speed made the difference there in whether I caught that fish or not. All right, I see the other thing I do with these fish is once they're in the net, don't lift the net out, you know, I see so many times, even experienced guys make the mistake of lifting the net out, put all that pressure on the fish. You don't want to do that. Leave the, leave the net kind of basket like this. See, the fish is just swimming in the net like it's a big live wall. And if I get lucky here, look at that. I should say the fish is lucky. She's loose, see? Totally loose in the net. Everything just went perfect according to plans there. Now, if everything continues to go well, I'll pull this fish out and you know, always be careful when you first handle them. All right, take it easy here, buddy. I'm gonna lift you up real nice here. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Okay, out you come. So there you go, my friends. Little. Just a little gun in the reel there triggered that fish to strike, huh? What a beauty, huh? We'll take a quick uh, look at her and back in the water. That was fun. We'll see you next week. Okay, in the water. Nice quick release on this fish here. In good shape. And I think that's going to... That fish is gone. Unhook the fish right in, in the landing net, in the water. You pick the fish up, right back out. You don't damage the fish at all. And when everything goes perfect, that's how, it that's how it's done. Doesn't always go perfect.